What's the name of this boat? Uh, Real Happy. All right guys, today a group of us are going king fishing with the Fishing with Fighters program. And we're being led by Captain Eddie Smith. And as usual, our first step when king fishing is to catch good bait. So we headed out along the beach to find some pogies. Guys, you see what? Yeah, uh, Captain Jeremy just turns the pump on. It's gonna fill up with water. The next step, son, is for him to catch some fish in the net. Then he'll bring it in and bring it back this way. Put me put them in there. If don't, they're real slimy. Everybody's going to try to get some and put it in there, and then I'll put, I'll, I'll clean your glasses after. We got our bait and headed out to a place called Dunn's Run. Dunn's Run is a spot offshore, not too far, but it's a spot I haven't really fished much. However, it's a spot Eddie likes to fish quite frequently, and lately this spot has been holding a lot of good kingfish. So we're going to all head out there and troll it around and see what we can find. Dunn's Run is full of natural ledges and live bottom, stuff like that. So when we got there, we all started kind of trolling around. You see, kingfish won't necessarily be right on the ledge. They could be in and around it at any place, really, any time. If you're like me, sometimes I forget to go over the game plan with the crew. But it's really important if you're fishing with new people, and even people you already fished with, it helps, you know, it just makes you a better team if you go over the plan and the strategy. Uh, with these guys, we hadn't fished with them before, so we wanted to go over the king fishing strategy with them. You see, king fishing, it's not a power game, it's a finesse game. It's not like, you know, bass fishing or bottom fishing, you know, for grouper or catching redfish where, you know, you're just fighting with a lot of power. Now we're using really tiny hooks and live bait and we're catching these big, you know, potentially 40, 50 pound fish. Okay, when you're using these small hooks and 20 pound line, you know, you can't power that fish in. You have to finesse them. You have to use strategy to work them around towards the boat. He's gonna run really fast and he's gonna wear himself out and we're okay with that. Once he's kind of tired, we're gonna start working him back to the boat, get him up front and then, you know, tail him or gaff him or whatever we're gonna do, put him in the box or release him, you know, whichever. Our boat uh, goes too fast for the live baits, so we gotta slow it down or else it'll kind of drown them. Once we found fish though, we held tight to that area. We marked it and we kept hitting that area. As long as we were catching fish, which we kept doing, we stayed in that spot. There we go, see the leader. Oh, yeah. Coming out. Coming out. oh perfect, yeah. Just ease him right over here. So what we'll do is just kind of work around the bow to the other side. There you go. Ah. There you go, Jeremy. Hey Sean, there we go. Now, just hold it straight up. I'm going to put it right there. Keep the line. Trail. Oh, yeah. He's coming. He's probably. Try not to. Be foul hook. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. What was kind of funny was that there were other boats, you know, several hundred yards away from us. Some over here, some over here, some back that way. And they, too, were sticking tight to their spot catching fish which made me think maybe there are packs of fish, you know, and we were just by one pack, they were by another. Maybe they were all scattered, though we were only in one spot really getting them well. Or maybe these fish are just working some lane and we're all kind of hitting that point. I'm not sure. But whatever the case is, if you're catching fish in a spot, work that spot hard until you stop catching fish. You know, use your GPS to kind of mark the spot and just troll tight to that area. You know, work back that way, and I'll get the turn away. Yeah. He's, 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 he's coming out. I see him. Some, yeah. Seems like a lot of times they like to chase that. 
that, I don't know, that white water or something. There you go. No, it's a king. Hey, hey, something hit. It sounded like one of our lines got hit. He's close. Okay. Just ease him right up to me. Thank you. Good job. Good one, son. Hey, he's coming up fast. Yep. There you go. Yep. Just a little. Go down slow. Okay. Get lift little. up. There we go. Good. A lot easier when they're in the mouth, right? Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, like. Hey. Almost. Uh, got him. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Yeah. 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 Look at where that hook is. How, how did he miss it, you know? It was crazy. We were trolling and we get a fish on and it's fighting kind of funny. It didn't seem like a kingfish. It kind of seemed like a shark at first, but then not so much. We get it up to the boat. It's a red snapper. Red snapper season was a couple weeks ago. And once you know it, we're just not even trying to catch red snapper. And we catch a red snapper. <laughs> So there's still plenty of red snapper down there if they're hitting our kingfish baits, you know, up high. We work with the boats around us. Um, sometimes you can do that. Sometimes, you know, there's no one there or no one you know you can talk to. And what we were doing is just trying to devise where the kingfish were, like what depth they were hitting on our downrigger. How deep is your downrigger? We've got one at about 15 and one at 35. All our fish are beating. Now, this one we just got on was at the 35. Everything else has been 15 or higher. Some days they like a particular depth or on the surface or close, far type of bait. And we were just communicating that so that we could really dial in on catching these fish fast. At one point, um, Eddie and his boat, they were on some big fish. Uh, we don't know what it was. Maybe a really big shark. Um, but could have been something else. I don't know. They didn't see it. But they were fighting that thing for, I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour. Um, pretty pretty big fish end up uh, breaking off. Hey, the good thing is that fish can be whatever it is you want it to be since you didn't see it. Oh, yeah? I thought I saw like a marlin fin at one point. I don't know. But we all had a good time out there. Uh, got to, to meet some new people, fish with some new guys, um, you know, just work with the other boats. And it was a lot of fun. While we were out there, there was actually another boat out there, um, Captain Don Ningman. He actually has his own show, Hook the Future. You might have seen it. And he had some fuel filter issues and um, he lost power to his boat. He couldn't get his motor started because of the fuel filter. So um, it was actually really neat. We all came up and, and tried to help him. Um, my dad hopped on the boat and it took us a little while. So we said, hey, well, let's tow you in because we're not sure we can fix it. So we started towing him in. And uh, all the other guys out there were, were really great. You know, they stayed with us, you know, kind of moving with us for a while, and, you know, just to make sure we were okay. They told me to go ahead. And they just went a few miles further to just troll around for a little bit, you know, as we kind of slowly towed the boat up. But it worked out because um, my dad and Captain Don, they were able to, to get those fuel filters off because that was the issue. They couldn't get them off to, to, you know, go through them and clean them and put them back on. But they were able to get them off you know, get all the crud out or whatever. Well, good news, uh, they just got the motor running, so uh, they're on their way now. Oh, we'll do some fast rolling then. Good job on getting the filters off. Nice. You know, while you're out there, just be sure to look out for one another. You know, if someone has some issues, maybe you can help them or tow them in, or maybe you got some spare parts or something like that. You know, have fun out there and, and help each other out. But anyways, it was a fun trip, beautiful weather. Just love it when it's nice like that, real relaxing, fun, summertime weather. 
you know, nothing, uh, nothing crazy or fancy you gotta do. Pretty basic and simple and just fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna have more videos coming. So like and subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you guys next time.